Hi again, welcome to video number eight in our series on using Facebook pages to promote your business. I'm Jim Hinckley of JH Web Marketing, and let's talk now about photos, adding those to your Facebook page because that can be very powerful content. And we'll start, of course, by going over to our XYZ Company example Facebook page. And notice here in the tabs on the XYZ uh, page, we do not have a tab labeled photos. We might have in previous videos, but I purposely took it out because when you start out with your page, uh, you might find that you don't have a photos tab and I want you to know how to add one. So let's come down here to edit page right underneath our branding image. And once we're on this edit page uh, page, we go down to photos and we click application settings. And as you can see here, it says tab is available and you can add it. So you simply click add there. Now, if you already had a photos tab on your page, uh, when you opened up this box, it would look like this. It would say tab added and remove and you could remove it. So that's uh, flexibility that's nice to have all the time. Now let's go back up here. Let's just make sure that it did get added to the page. Yes, it did. There's our, our new photos tab right there. And now that we have it, we can click on it. And notice that already inside the, the photos tab, we've got a, an album called profile pictures that's automatically created for you by Facebook as soon as you upload uh, an image there to the upper left corner of your page like we did way back in the second video, I think it was. And now we want to create another photo album. So of course we just click create photo album and all we have to do is type in a name for it. Let's say we wanted to add an album of product photos. Okay, so we could just choose XYZ company products. You don't have to fill in a location or a description. You can always come back to that if you want to and we'll leave those blank for now. Okay, now notice that the select photos button there, it just turned from very pale gray into more solid colors. Um, I always find that a little bit confusing. My, my eye tends to go to this upload photos button down here because I want to upload photos right away, but no, you have to click first on select photos in order to select the photos that you want to add to your page. And of course, I'm just clicking on and getting an album of, of photos here. Let's say this was a, a product image right here. We could click that, open. Okay, and now it says one image is selected. We can either click here to add more photos to do a multi-photo upload to this new album of, of product photos, or we could just upload the one photo by then clicking this upload photos button here and we're doing it and it's uploading. Note that it says do not navigate away from this page while the upload is happening or your upload probably won't work. And there you go. There's our product photo in the new album. We can come over here and we can add uh, a description of it if we wanted to. And we can save that. We can also notice here, make that photo the album cover if we want to. We will make that, uh, or we can delete that photo if we want to. Just be sure to save the changes that you make. And there we go. We're, we now have our uh, first photo album set up inside of the XYZ Company photos. And this will take us back to all photos. So now you see that we have uh, all photos, see that brings it into view a little better there. We now have an XYZ company products album and we have a profile photo album inside of our XYZ company photos tab. All right, so that's how you do that. And that's it for this video. Please join us for video number nine. Thanks.